How's it going, ladies and Bruce? up? I'm six going welcome back to Yakuza 3 Remastered. Oh, we got a lot on our plate today. So we've got two side missions plus the, the place on Nakamichi Street, which uh, I believe is this big one over here. No, is it this big one here? This big one here. Um, and then we've got to go and pick up Date and head to the Diet Building for the main mission. Who the hell are you? Oh, okay, you're just a random. I hate the randoms that just talk out their asses all day. This is Nakamichi Street, so we should be looking for... Should be someone around here who looks like they're a ninja. Sounded like it was a lady. Handing out napkins or something like that. This one? It's gotta be this lady. Oh no, read the truth. It's probably not that lady. Here's a napkin person. There. Sorry. How's this gonna go down? <laughs> I can't wait. You gonna throw them like ninja stars. <laughs> that one was fantastic. <laughs> Stuck it in his glasses. <laughs> that stance is the secret to explosive speed. Fleet feet are the secret to dealing with crowds. Means that. Oh, I don't know. Let's try the top one. If it's wrong, we'll come back. Come on, please be right. Oh, it was the crowd one. God damn it. Oh, was, there's a side mission right here. Six years of my brother's life have been stolen away because of false charges. I'm asking for any help I can get to save his life from unjust imprisonment. It can't be her. Read the truth. Hey. Oh, kitty son. What are you doing here standing what are you doing standing around here? And who's that? What's she handing out? I think they're How hey, are you over there? I knew it. It is you. You're that journalist. Um uh Look at what happened to my brother, thanks to you. What happened? I never intended for that to um journalists only care about themselves. Do you have any idea what horrible things happen to the people you write about? I, uh... My brother didn't kill anybody. Sounds like you two have quite the past. Yeah. What happened, exactly? Maybe we should talk someplace else? Sure. Ah, oh, I love getting back to those side missions. Six years ago, there was a murder here at Cafe Alps. Here? The suspect was a man named Yuichi... Akechi son. That woman you just saw is his sister, Nozomi Akechi. Yu Yuichi Akechi. I investigated the story and wrote an article implicating Yu Yuichi san as the murderer. And this is the article that woman was talking about. Oh. That's right. Yuichi has consistently denied any involvement in the crime since his arrest. To be honest, even though I wrote the article, I wasn't completely convinced he'd done the deed. I didn't even want to publish it. I didn't want to make him out to be the criminal before we had all the facts. Let me guess, it got published anyway. I was the only person in the department who even considered Yuichi's son might have been innocent. And I was only just getting my start as a journalist, so I had to go along with what my department intended to, wanted to do. I dug much too far into Yuichi san's life for my investigation. I interviewed his relatives, even people in his neighborhood. Because of my reporting, people started labeling the Akechi family as the murder, murderer family. They were forced to move. Poor Nozomi-san got bullied a lot at school too. That kind of stuff happens. But I guess she does have a pretty good reason to resent you. Ever since Yuichi-san was declared guilty, I can't stop thinking about him. Should I have written the article? Were the charges against him false? False? You mean there's a chance Yuichi didn't do it? What makes you think that? I actually used to have a part-time job here a long time ago. Is that so? I work with Yuichi-san. We talked all the time, and I got to know him pretty well. 
I just don't think he's a murderer. Huh. After that story got published, I swear I'd never repeat the same mistake. I've become an honest journalist who only reports the truth. Are you really just going to let this go then? What? You still have doubts about the case, right? Yes. And shouldn't you be trying to discover the truth? You know what? You're right. I think I gave up after the article came out. But you're absolutely right. I think I will look into it one more time. How should I go about it though? I mean, it's been six years since the murder happened. I guess you gotta start by talking to everyone involved in the case. Sure, but... But what? Hello. Could you help me, kitty son? Huh? If I don't find out the truth, I'll regret writing that article for the rest of my life. You want me to look into that old murder with you? Sure. Alright. I'll do it. Thank you. So tell me more about this crime again. Crime Yuichi Akechi has was arrested for six years ago. Oh shit, I didn't see.事件が起こったのは夜遅く。閉店後、従業員たちが清掃作業をしている時間でした。事件の第一発見者はウェイターの木下さんという男性でした。当時、この店のウェイターだった明智雄一さんは清掃作業の途中、店の裏のゴミ
Here we go. Oh, that would hurt, man. <laughs> fucking karate chopped him in the fucking wrist. I saw a charismatic woman passing out tissues and, well, that's all I'll say. This is ten times more amazing than any CG effect I've seen, though. Definitely worth a look. Go and see it for yourself if you're up in Kim Rocha. <laughs> Essence of Terror. <laughs> that's a great name for it, too. Fantastic. Essence of Terror. Alright, we got another one over here, and then we should have a look at that notebook. I'm very curious. We're going to do an investigation? That's awesome. Is it you two? This place? It is you two, right? Or it's in here. No map. Do you have a mission yes, for me? Yes, I feel obligated to warn you that there's been an uptick in bag robberies these last few months, particularly high-end ones. Even some of our customers have had their goods snatched away from them. <gasps> that guy who sold us the bag! They just rob people in broad daylight? Indeed. Apparently there's a syndicate running the streets. One or two members were caught, but, but crime is still out of control. I won't feel safe selling our luxury goods until the whole ring is brought to justice. So there's a group of bag snatchers operating in this area. Please take me seriously on this, sir. And if you happen to purchase something, please be very cautious on your way home. On a lighter note, what might you be interested in today? Should we sell them the bag that we... That was sent to us that was stolen? Oh wait, yes, we should buy a bag, right? We should buy a bag so that we get mugged so that we can figure out what's happening. What's the most expensive bag you got? I want to make sure we get robbed. 120,000? 150,000? Let's take that one. Thank you very much. Please come again. $150,000 bag? Yen bag, sorry. Animo hey. old man. <laughs> A bag snatcher. You must have been targeting customers who come out of the shop. If he gets away, it's all over. I better go after him. I didn't actually want the bag anyway. I just wanted to draw that fucker out. Wait, where'd he go? Kid's got some legs on him. He went down Pink Street, but which way did he turn? That was the thief everyone's complaining about. Why did you chase after him? Go get my bag back, bag back from that jerk. Do I look like a hero to you? I mean, what if the goons come out? That'll get, that'll get dangerous. Hey, did you see a kid running this way? If you mean the bag snatcher, he took a left at the first four-way intersection down Pink Street. You can still catch him if you hurry. He won't get away. A left at the first four-way intersection down Pink Street. He won't let me sprint. Let me sprint. Does this count as a four-way intersection? It's a little bit off, but... It's gotta be it, right? Whew. Must have ditched him by now. That's the guy who stole my bag. I gotta get back to the hideout. That guy's probably still out there. So he's going back to the hive, is he? Should I catch him now and just get back what's mine? Or should I let him lead me to the hideout? Follow him. I'll let this worker bee show me to the hive. Yeah, then we can beat them all up. There he goes. Bingo. Whew. Check it out, boss. I snagged a real pricey one today. Nice work, little man. Now we can... Hey, who the hell are you? I came to take back what's mine. What the shit, little man? I trust you with the business, and you bring back this big fuck? You must have followed me, man. I thought I lost him. I might be getting old, but you can't lose me that easily. Unfucking believable How many times have I told you to take the long route when someone's chasing you? So you're the head of this little syndicate? Heh. <laughs> Damn right. Hostesses go nuts over those bags they sell. We give the hoes what they want, and they give us what we need. Player's life, baby. Bam. 
You said it, bro. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Punk's like, you make me sick. Too bad you had to walk in on us. Now you're gonna die in this alley. That was the best thing I've ever seen. I need that green screen. That little dance he did. I need that. I'm gonna have to try and cut that out. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. It's the best thing ever. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you now. <laughs> Come on, what you got? Stand up so I can finish your ass off. <laughs> finish him. <laughs> We're gonna need an ambulance? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, the player's life. <laughs> Still haven't learned your lesson? No, we have. Please. Take this. We don't need it. We don't need it no more. You reclaimed your caviar skin bag. And and take this too. Just please don't hit us no more. <laughs> Another one. It's an expensive designer bag. We all pitched in. We were gonna use it to get the hottest chicks at the club. Clean up your act. If you want the attention of good women, start by acting like good men. Whew, whew, dropping a truth bomb right there. <laughs> Brutal. Anyway, where are we going? Oh yeah, we gotta look at this notebook. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Alright, what do we got? So we got lead detective, Maeda. Junji Maeda. Detective for Police Investigations Division 1. Lead murder investigation from its start. His initial suspicion of Akechi led to arrest. Unparalleled drinker found in bars of Kamarocho almost all nights of the week. Dislikes coffee. He did the murder. He killed the person at Cafe Alps because they were serving coffee. Yuichi Akechi. Waiter at Cafe Alps. Was in a relationship with the waitress Usami. Past the locker room while closing store. To witness Usami cheating on, cheating with store manager Oda. Beat Oda to death with an ashtray, question mark. Witness fleeing the scene by Kinoshita. Uh, own fingerprints found on murder weapon. Convicted of murder, now severe sentence. Sounds like we should talk to Maeda at the bar. Oda, manager at Cafe Alps. Discovered by Akechi to be having an affair with waitress Usami. Beat to death with an ashtray by Ki <laughs> Cause of death, blunt force trauma to the head. Nozomi. Sister, attending famous private school for girls, plans to skip college and work post-graduation. Believes brother is innocent, distributes flyers, asking for help in getting retrial. Usami, waitress, we should talk to her too. Waitress at Cafe Alps, had relationship with suspect Akechi. Had already ended shift on the day of murder, but stayed in the store. Witness, but we don't know where she would be though. Waiter at Cafe Alps is cleaning with Akechi at the time of murder, discovered Oda's body. We should talk to him too, I assume he'll be at Cafe Alps too. Waiter at Cafe Alps was closing at time of murder. Not present. So we should go to the... We should go to a bar. And we should go back to Cafe Alps to talk to people. Those seem like the two most important places to go. We're near the Champion District. Should we head up, um, head up one of the bars in the Champion District? It seems to be where everybody drinks around here. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> now I've done it. I love how much energy you're putting into this. It's good work. It's good work. You're making your boss proud. Stand up.
Geh von her. Stand up, I don't want to finish you that easily. Asshole. <laughs> I could have just stomped on your head, but that was... That would be no fun. That would be no fun at all. Right. Champion District. God damn it. No, I don't want to fight you, dude. Leave me the fuck alone. Who are you? I mean, seen some strangely... A strange homeless man dressed in white around here lately. He always carries a bunch of weird smoking junk. He's really creepy. And if you do come anywhere near him, he asks you for money. What a weirdo. Okay. Oh, did we check over in here for keys? Oh. Oh, I remember this. You have to give him money for his research or something. Mm -hmm. Ah, you look like a promising subject. Come on then. I'll take you 100,000 yen now. I'm not giving you money for no reason. What exactly am I paying 100,000 yen for? An experience, my friend. An experience you could go your entire life without having otherwise. You look like the type who can handle it. <laughs> but it's a battle you'll never be able to win without sufficient mental, mental toughness. If you're confident in your strength, I'll take you 100,000 yen now. <laughs> you keep saying that, yeah. Should I pay him? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <sighs> Let's pay him. Congratulations. You're my first customer since I arrived here. But don't think too much about that. What's your name? Kiryu. Kiryu kun, huh? My name's Minamita. It wasn't that long ago that people from all over the world knew the name Dr. Minamita. Never heard of you. Sorry. You haven't? Well, never mind. Shall we get started? Um, maybe. This isn't the experience you're talking about, is it? No. I've never seen these men before. Hey, old man. We hear you're trying to sell something here. You know whose territory this is? You're selling something pretty expensive from what we hear. What is it anyway? I'm afraid that's a trade secret. I can't tell you unless you pay first. Yeah, right. We're here to smash that trade secret of yours to pieces. Unless you want to start paying us protection money, that is. Yeah. Pay? With what? I have nothing but what you see right here. <laughs> but I'm going to be making some money soon. Well, hopefully. If things work out, I'll be more than happy to pay you. Huh? What the hell are you going on about? We'll teach you not to bring bullshit like that into our territory. Whose territory is this? If you know what's good for you, you won't be sticking your nose where it don't belong. I don't plan to. I'm just asking whose territory it is. What's it to you, huh? Fine, whatever. This is the territory of the Shiraki family. A subsidiary of the Tojo clan. Everybody knows us around here. What? Too scared to talk now? Never heard of that family? You watch it, old man. We've been pretty nice up until now, but you're pushing it. I don't remember the names of families that use violence to terrorize innocent people. Anyway, this man promised me an experience like I've never had before. But this isn't it. What the hell are you two yapping about? I've had enough of this. Let's kick both their asses. Can you fight, old man? Or do I have to do all the work here? You're not going to fight, are you, old man? I got this. Does that mean I get a discount? I hope so. Better get a discount for saving your ass. Everybody gets a turn. <laughs> Jeez, they didn't put up much resistance, did they? Hey, you can't do that to us. You have any idea what kind of trouble you just got yourself into? It's a question I should be asking you. I don't have any patience for idiots who don't even know their own organization. Uh, what are you, an executive of the Tojo clan or something? Um, never mind. No need to answer that. We'll just disappear. It'll be like we were never here. Just let us go, please. Keep moving. 
I suppose I should thank you. No need. That kind of thing happens to me a lot, actually. <laughs> now, what's this experience you were talking about? Ah, yes. As I said, my name is Minamata, Minamita. In the world of video games, the name Dr. Minamita is reasonably famous. I guess it doesn't mean anything in this city, though. Until last month, I was running a small game development company. We developed the smash hit YF6, and the success was helping us grow. YF6? I played that game. So what's this machine? My latest invention. Inner Fighter 7. The ultimate arcade machine. It's a prototype, but only one in, the only one in existence. An arcade machine? Indeed. A game machine such as you might find in an arcade. So this experience is a video game. In so many words, yes. But this game is utterly unlike any game you've ever played. What's different about it? This machine allows players to play the game inside their very brains. It uses bleeding ed te edge technology and special electromagnetic waves to make you feel like you're actually in the game, fighting the enemies. What? If that were possible, it would be the invention of the century. And not just for ga the gaming world, either. Perceptive. Perceptive. You're quite right about that. It is indeed a great invention, but it's not without its problems. What problems? It seems that the only people who have actually experienced physical fighting for their lives are able to conjure up suitable opponents. I tried testing it on a high school student, but he ended up facing a 20 meter fire breathing dragon. The poor boy ran home crying. And there was someone else who accused me of using hypnosis to trick him. Like I would use such quackery, but regardless, I can't get anyone to recognize how amazing this is. So you couldn't sell it and went bankrupt. Well, that was part of why we went bankrupt, but there was another reason as well. Hmm? But that's enough about me. I'm sure you're eager to give my invention a try, am I right? Okay, I'll try it. You fight on a daily basis, don't you? I'm sure you'll be able to generate a suitable opponent. I can't wait to see what happens. Now, please sit down. I'm excited. Let's do it. Here we go. Alright. There's still a lot I need to explain, but for now, why don't you just have a look for yourself? We have to enter your name on the entry screen. What was it you said your name was again? Kitty. That's K-I-R-Y-U, correct? Got it. From what I can tell, a player's health and IF7 depends on what level their soul is. Whatever that means. If your soul's level isn't high enough, you won't be able to tell how much health your opponent has. So you must ensure that you keep training your soul. Now, let us get this experiment underway. Are the restraints absolutely necessary? Is this going to give me brain cancer? <laughs> is this going to scramble my brains? What's this guy? Back from Oka from back in Okinawa. Come on, dude. Very impressive. Good dodging. You'll never beat me. There's too much furniture here. <laughs> I'm an IKEA worker's biggest nightmare. Last thing I want to do is get cornered. I gotta get out of this corner, man. I'm gonna get fucked. That was close, man. Nearly got myself pummeled to death in the corner. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Thank God, furniture. Fist weapons. 
Use weapons attached to your hands, such as brass knuckles, learned by fighting Tamashiro in IF7. Nice. How was it? Truly an incredible experience, wasn't it? Yeah, I faced the men I fought before. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, actually. I think I learned some new moves. I'd like to keep using a machine in the future, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, by all means, by all means. The next time you want to play, I'll only charge you 10,000 yen. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. From 100,000 to 10,000? That's a pretty big discount. Simply put, you're the only one I've found who can handle playing the game. If I make it cheaper, you'll want to play again, right? I can't pass up this chance to finally test my invention. I see, I guess our interests overlap then. I'll definitely be back. Wonderful. I'll be waiting. Oh, in just a moment. Tell me your email address, won't you? I'll contact you if there are any new developments. Sure. There's a key on the wall that I need to grab while I'm here. Up there. Oh, it's not on the wall, it's on this bar thing. Nice. Kind of want to do it again already, but uh, we probably should keep moving. There's so much to be done. Let's check out Earth Angel. We're looking for a cop, right? I don't want to push too hard, but... Uh, hang on. Do you know? Why, kitty you son, it's nice to see you. What can I get you? No, no, I'm good. That's too bad. Please stop by and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try, uh, we'll try, um, shellac. And then we'll go do the main thing, otherwise I'm, pu I'm putting it off too much, you know? I do that. I, I get distracted and then I, I, I force myself to stay distracted. <laughs> Realistically. Do you... Have you decided what you want? No, I'm, I'm good. I don't need any liquor right now. So I can barely walk on the best of days, to be fair. So, see I can't even English, either. On the best of days. So, I, the last thing I need is alcohol. <laughs> I, can, I can barely function as it is. Completely sober. With alcohol, I'd be a fucking mess. <laughs> even more of a mess. Alright, let's go. I'll come back to you, don't worry, mister. I want to learn new moves and stuff. I want to save up my XP until I get to 110. 110. Uh, to get the next heat one, though. Because we're at like 90 something. Pretty high. I to keep focusing on heat, though. Ah, shit. No, I don't care about your phone. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't come anywhere near you, you big arf. But I'm going to now. Stand up. KO. Anyone else? Are you alone? Is it just you? Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> Biggest can't be choosers, I suppose. As they say. Ooh, 10 grand. Nice. Nearly back to the million. Nearly back to a million yen. This looks like the kind of place where a key would be. Don't you think? Let's have a quick look around. Hmm. They hide them so well now. Now that they can put them up on walls and stuff. Did you crack open the coin locker? Hang on, who are you? Are you going to be talking about bullshit? Yes, you're going to be talking about bullshit. Never mind. Not interested in your nonsense. Sorry, sorry dude. Didn't mean to knock you over. That was not my intention. You just happened to be in the way. 14. Oh, toughness emperor. Very nice. What else we got? 37. Lucky 37. Toughness infinity. That's good too. More health items, please. Charismatic photo. Well, that's not very helpful, but whatever. Said to attract others who will try to take it from you. Oh, it makes people fight you, right? I don't need that. I've got enough problems with people wanting to fight me out there as it is. You know? I don't need to attract more attention. I got enough attention already. <laughs> more than I could ever handle. Oh, crap. Can I go around behind him? Yes. 
He didn't even see me coming. Oh, can I get behind him? No. Dati! What took you so long? Sorry, Dati son. I got here as fast as I could. That's a lie! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Gotta say though, Tommy I bringing you up is a pretty unexpected development. Yeah, hopefully meeting him will clear some things up. Hope so. Don't forget that Tamiya is one of the biggest political figureheads in the country. Who knows what he could be planning? In other words, we should be ready for anything. You about good to go? Let's do it. Great. Time to swing by the Millennium Tower then. Indeed. But uh, we weren't meant to meet there because it'll look suspicious, but... Won't it be just as suspicious when we show up there with you behind me? Just a thought. When they'd be like, wasn't there only meant to be one of you? Hmm, seems like there's two of you. I'm not very good at counting, but uh, that two is more than one. No. You know the car parked in front of Millennium Tower? Oh no, you're talking bullshit. Damn, I didn't mean to talk to you when you're talking bullshit. Hello. Ah, you must be Kazuba Kitty Summer. Yeah, and you're Tamiya's driver, right? Actually, his secretary. You can call me Higaki, sir. And you? You're from the media, yes? Yep. Name's Date. From the K Kaihin News. Used to hang my hat with the force, though. That's how I know Kitty. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid I can't allow a reporter to. Now hold your horses. What we have here is a prominent government official arranging a private meeting with the ex-chairman of a major crime syndicate. And if you don't let me come, I'll have to write an article based on that information alone. And who knows what kind of conclusions I could draw from that. But... Sorry, but I think it's for the best if you let Date-san come with us. We promise we won't write anything about what he hears today. Right, Date-san? Yeah, sure. Very well then. Please get in the car when you're ready. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Very well, sir. Just get in the car and we'll be on our way. How far is this building? Ooh, it's fancy. I recognize this building, I think. Sure, I recognize this building. Where, where do we end up? Like, where do we go for this? Yokohama, maybe. おもっていたより若いな。そっちは。<笑> お前、沖縄の例の お前はあのリゾート なぜ簡単だ。あの法案、俺は初めから通す気がなかったからだ。なんだと聞かせてくれ。沖縄の基地拡大とリゾート開発。その全てについて。うん。<笑> 
俺もお前たちに頼みたいことがある。What's the favor? 何を聞きたいんだ What should I ask about? The purpose of the military expansion bill? If he doesn't want it to pass anyway. あんたの沖縄米軍基地拡大の本当の狙いってのは何なんだうん。俺の本当の狙い。それは世界で暗躍する組織の正体を暴き、その組織を潰すことだ。ああ。利権絡みのマフィアか何かか。そんな簡単なもんじゃない。俺が追いかけているのは通称ブラックマンデーと呼ばれている組織だ。ブラックマンデーそれってあの伝説の武器密輸組織のことじゃないのかさすがは分野だよく知ってるな1987年あの世界大恐慌の引き金になったニューヨーク株式市場の株価大暴落を裏で操っていたとさえ言われる武器商人アンドレ・リチャードソンを中心とした武器密輸集団通称ブラックマンデー。俺はその正体を知るために、あの沖縄米軍基地拡大を仕掛けた。ブラックマンデーの正体を知るためだとどういうことだ知っての通り、基地拡大の最大の目的は、日米で共同開発する BMD の配備だ。その開発の裏では、超単位の金が動いている。設計図だけでもとてつもない価値を秘めているんだとてつもない価値日本の最先端の技術とアメリカの兵器開発のノウハウの結晶沖縄の基地拡大法案による新 BMD 配備は他のどの国が逆立ちしても売ることができない最強の防衛兵器の誕生を意味する実現すれば中東を含めたアジア一帯の国々は今後十数年日本に手出しすることはできないそんなものが沖縄に日米共同開発の BMD は世界の防衛バランスを変えるほどの代物なんだと一応世界的にはそういうことになっている一応だとああそうだそういった風評があることが重要だったんだどういうことだ世界最新の兵器開発それを欲しがるやつらが動き出すってことだまさかその欲しがってるやつってのがブラックマンデーその通り世界中に武器を売りつける武器密輸組織ってのは常に最先端の技術を欲しているもしその技術が日米以外の国に流れたら世界の防衛バランスを崩壊させるほどの技術やつらが指をくわえたまま見ているはずがない。新 BMD はブラックマンデーをおびき出すための餌ってことか。沖縄の基地拡大法案はあくまでそのブラックマンデーってやつを誘い出すためのダミーだったと。ダミーとはいえ、俺は本気で法案を通す形が必要だった。そのために俺は鈴木にリゾートの話を提案し。やつに利権を一手に渡すと持ちかけ、基地拡大法案とセットの形で進めてきた。つまり俺以外、すべての国民を騙す必要があったんだ。そのくらいのことをしなければならなかったんだよ。I see. だが、あんたはもう法案を通す気がないと言ったな。それはつまり。ああ。ようやくブラックマンデーの尻尾をつかむことができたというわけだ。じゃあ、あんたの目的は、花から鈴木との総裁選にはなかったってことかそんなものは、小アッパの政治家気取りが欲しがるもんだ。俺には全く興味がない。<笑>うん。だが、アメリカも関わるほどの大掛かりな作戦。あんた一人で実行できるもんじゃねえだろその通りだそれについても話しておかなければならんな Go on then More info please 他に聞きたいことはあるか Yes I do 
<laughs> I have further questions. So Tamiya came up with the military expansion bill to lure out an international arms smuggling syndicate known as Black Monday. Their leader, Andre Richardson, would no doubt be drawn into the BMD system they're proposing for Okinawa. In other words, the only reason Tamiya was so insistent on the military expansion was so he could stamp out Black Monday once and for all. He has to be working with someone, though. Someone with connections to the US. Army. That person holds the key to all of this. What should I ask about? The man who shot Daiko? Does he know about this? Probably not. Daigo utta hanni o shiranai ka? Sore wa ore ni mo wakaran. So ka. Ano kazama ni niteru te otoko no koto ka? Sujo mo 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 mo俺の知っている風間とお前らの知ってるその男がどういつ人物ならの話だが教えてくれあんたの知っている風間ってのは一体誰なんだ風間ジョージお前のいた登場会の元幹部風間組組長風間慎太郎の実の弟だおやさんに知らなかったのかああそうかやはり風間は肉親の話をしてなかったのかやはりああ両親を早くに失った風間にとって弟ジョージは血を分けたただ一人の兄弟何者にも甲斐が大存在だったからな風間にとって弟ってのはそんなに大切なんだったら桐生には話していそうなもんだがな仲がいいだの悪いだのは関係ないそういった普通の兄弟関係でいられるような間柄じゃなかったんだあの兄弟はどういうことだあの二人は決して
going to be in this conversation for the rest of the episode, by the way. <laughs> We're good at saving people. Almost as good as Mario. <laughs> トーマは峰<笑> Oh yeah, I still have questions. <laughs> Apparently Toma joined up with Mine once he learned what Tamiya was really after. And now Georgie Kazama is trying to silence Toma before he can spill any of the of Tamiya's secrets. So it looks like I need to stop Georgie. Why did Toma join Mine in the first place? And what does Mine have to do with the resort? I need to know more. There's more. The CIA. Kazama no Yasan no Jitsuno Toto. Sono Toga. CIA no Choho in to stay. Nihon de Katsudo stayed. Why of all places? It seems like the obvious place is taken. Buki Mitsu Soshi. He blends in. CIA wa reo ikaketir. Orewa Joji to Kyoko stay. Black Monday no Shippo Tskande, Tsubuso to stay runda. じゃあ、風間の弟は日本の警察を辞め、CIA今回の一件 だが、CIA の諜報員は常時だけじゃない。すでにお前も何度か命を狙われているはず。for the gunship, that seems a little bit over the top. Because his brother's gone?日本という保守的な国家で警察官の肉親に極道関係者がいるとなれば、それだけで迫害を受ける時代だった。ジョージは実の兄が極道、しかも登場会という大組織の顔役であることが原因で、自分の正義を貫くことすらできず警察を去った
新たな人生を手に入れたんだだから CIA のためならばどんなことでもやると One more. Let's say it's one more. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. More question. So the CIA needed the military expansion bill to stay afloat so they could lure Black Monday out into the open. And it was under CIA orders that Georgie shot Daigo for refusing to take my lamp. I guess the CIA is almost like a second family to him now. After what happened during his time on the force. That explains why he's so loyal to the US government. And he lost his brother, so he's got nothing here anymore. We're the closest thing to family he's got. トーマが基地拡大法案を通過させるためにリゾート開発の土地買収を頼んだ先があのミネだというのかそうだその話はおかしいな死んだ柏木の話によればリゾート開発の土地買収を進めていたのは鈴木と風間それに風間とつながってる登場会の組織ってことになるはずだうんだが事実はそうではないそもそも2年前の玉城組の土地買収騒動以来リゾート開発の土地買収は行われていなかった何だとじゃあなんで風間は中原を撃ってまで土地の権利書を奪ったんだ基地拡大法案を進めるためだリゾート予定地の買収が進まなければ同時に基地拡大法案も止まってしまうそうなればブラックマンデーの尻尾がつかめないだから強引な手段で土地の権利書を中原という男から奪い土地の買収を推し進めようとしたんだ登場会を使ってかああ CIA は堂島大吾を動かすためネックとなっていた朝顔がある土地の権利書を奪い土地買収の協力を持ちかけただが大吾は土地の買収を断っただから撃たれたのかそういうことだそしてトーマはミネにリゾートの土地買収の話を持ちかけたトーマはリゾートの利権そのすべてをミネに渡すという条件で協力するよう求めたんだろう利権のすべてを渡すだとそんなことしてトーマに何のメリットがあるんだトーマとは何だからやつが沖縄の人間だということは知ってるな1年前直接本人から聞いた今から3年前トーマは沖縄の発展を夢見て政治の世界へと足を踏み入れたそこでトーマは沖縄の米軍基地拡大とリゾート計画のことを知り沖縄のためになるならと喜んで働いたあいつは沖縄を豊かにしたいと話していた Intentions are good, but the、uh, approach is not good. Methods are bad. I was able to get the money 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 to get the money. トーマは堂島大吾とあんたを引き合わせた時に登場会の連中ミネとも知り合ったというのはだがやつは一年経って法案がフェイクであることを知ってしまっただから強行に土地買収を進められる力を求めて白鵬会にすり寄っていったトーマとミネは互いの利害が一致して手を組んだんだなるほどなだがあれだけ六代目に忠実だったミネが登場会を裏切ろうとしていたとはなミネという男はよくわからん今回の一連の騒動で登場会の事実上のトップはあの男のはずだ黙っていればより上のポストが約束されているのに何を考えているのかそれは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それ
それに CIA とあんたの目的ようやく絵を描いたやつが見えてきたな常時を止めてくれ止める CIA の任務を止めろというのかそうだトーマを守ってやってほしいどうして CIA はトーマを殺す必要があるんだやつは知りすぎたんだ、yeah. you know the to that この法案の裏に CIA が関与していることもそして法案がフェイクだということもなじゃあ CIA はそのことを封印するためにああ俺はトーマを殺したくはないできればあの二人を助けてやりたいんだでもトーマはあんたの計画を邪魔した男だろうどうして今になってかばうようなこと強い信念を持った人間はいずれ大きな志を抱くそしてそれを実現する俺の恩師が教えてくれたことだトーマは純粋でまっすぐだあれはいずれ良い政治家になるでもそれだけでそれだけじゃねえんだよ伊達さんんこの線食えないやつだが自分の部下を見殺しにできない古いタイプの人間のようだそうなんだろう<笑>分かった今はトーマを止めれば土地買収も終わるおやすさんの弟には返さなきゃならない借りもあるからなやってくれるかあんたのためじゃない俺はただ朝顔を失いたくないだけだいいだろうじゃあお前がトーマをジョージから守ってくれたら沖縄のリゾート開発は俺の手で完全に止める約束しようトーマは今どこに沖縄だ地元の県議会,議会,議会会合に向かってるはずだ It's been a while You can see the kids. I got that issue with Shonen 5. Nihon no Gokdo ni mo mada konna otoko ga ita to a na. Daga mondai wa koko kara da. Hmm? Nani ka atta no ka? Suzuki no SP da. Nani? Sude ni Toma wa koko kara da. Holy shit. Do suru, Kiryu. 行くしかないんだろうなそうなんだろうああそうだ行くしかないあの SP とやらどこまでやっていいんだあの SP はあくまで鈴木の紙幣好きに暴れて構わん暴れた責任は取ってやるナイスフリーラインでキッククラッカーのものだがなんだあんた興味ないって言っていたが政治家ってのは皆総理大臣になりたいもんなんじゃないのかじゃあ逆に聞くが組長ってのはなりたいと言ってなるものなのかトップとは何かをなしそれを積み重ねてきた人間がいつの間にか勝手になってるものだろう違うか<笑>確かにな Prove you got what it takes, you'll get there. Whether you want to or not. Ah. Alright, let's kick the crap out of some assholes. This is gonna be great. That's good. I'll mop up here. That's good. I'll mop up here. That's good. もし俺が捕まったら、真島の兄さんにあんたから今聞いたことを伝えてくれ。キリュウ、頼んだぞ。You know we can handle ourselves. We've been through worse than this. <laughs> this is gonna be great.
Oh, they've even got shields. <laughs> Let's get started. Getting hit from behind all the time is such a pain in the ass when you're up against a bunch of dudes. How do we use that essence of essence of terror or whatever it was? This seems like the perfect time to use that. It's designed for big groups. I think we need to be Reed though, we need to have Reed uh, Pete for that, don't we? Try and zap me in the back, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> goddamn it, those shield dudes keep getting in the way. It's really goddamn annoying. <laughs> Bad electric man. Bad electric man. Ooh, sun gun. <laughs> My health's getting low. We need to do something about our health. Uh, we just need health. Everything else is fine. God damn you shield guys. You fucking twat. Die. Damn shield guys. There's so many weapons just lying around now. Mainly sun guns. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring more, I got I can take more. Keep them coming. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Majima. Of course. <laughs> Why does he keep driving trucks into stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Fucking lunatic. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can we get to wrap this one up? Sorry, this one's going to be a long one. Obviously. Even longer than usual. We'll save next time we get the chance to save. But I'm not in a hurry, you know. I'm having a good time. I hope you're all having a good time too. Yoshitaka! <laughs>
みんなで野球してたなんだそうだったのか帰りが遅いから心配したんだぞそれよりおじさん聞いてよ今日のテスト俺一番だったんだよそうか吉高は頭いいなうんみんな僕も混ぜてよおめえバットもグローブも持ってねえじゃねえかよ俺ら貧乏人とは遊べねえんだよ<笑><笑>おじさんねえ起きてよ死なないでよしたかおじさんしたかよく聞くんだよしたかは頭がいいさん勉強して偉くなりなさいおじさんごめんな守ってやるおじさんだれだ片瀬です入れ失礼しますす沖縄行きの飛行機手配いたしましたたし時間半後羽田発ですわかった会長なんだい,いえ何でもありませんただ最近ずいぶんご無理をされておられるのではないかと会長にもしものことがあったら私そんな顔しないでくれ大丈夫だ昨日国会議事堂前で起こった一連の騒動に関し、警察の見解では、沖縄の基地拡大法案に反対する団体の仕業との見方が強まっています。Oh, Sega Brain TV。の行方はイベントしてつかめておらず、引き続き捜索が行われているとのこと。消してくれ。警察は今後、国会議事堂周辺の警備を強化するとともに。Looks like getting down to Okinawa is not going to be as easy as we thought, huh? We?、Oui. Sorry, Date san, but I need, you, I need to do this alone. Are we doing the same thing to him as we did to Rikia? What? But Mina is going to have an army of guys down there. Going without any backups is like signaling your own damn death, starting your own damn death wish. Man's got a point, Kitty chan. You ask me, we send in some of my boys. Rough some people up. Make sure nobody even thinks of laying a hand on you. Look, I'll be fine on my own. Why are you being so stubborn about this? The only reason I've gotten this far involved is so that I can make sure Morning Glory is safe. I care about Daigo and the Tojo clan, yeah. But when push comes to shove, this Okinawa fight is mine and mine alone. Not anymore, it ain't. Not with the CIA and those Hakuho thugs turning the place all topsy turvy. It'll be okay. I have friends down there. Huh? The Ryudo family. If we're gonna be set in a fight in Okinawa, I wanna do it with Okinawa natives by my side. Oh, and you're sure about that, Kitty Chan? 100%. Suppose that's that then. So what? You just given up, Majima? Kitty Chan's a big stubborn ox. No change in his mind when he's like this, Date san. You should know that better than anyone. Even so, I. Kitty Chan, the Majima family will keep the lights on over at Tojo HQ while you're gone. Go do what you gotta do, yeah? Thank you, Majima san. Call him Majima chan, like he does to us. Alright, now we can actually save because we can go into the. Not that. Into the room that lets us save. This one? I believe. Yep. Alright. Well, long one. Long one, but we got a lot done. That's pretty awesome. Back to Okinawa. More side missions will show up there, no doubt. Good times. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.